If you are on a lookup for twin engine plane, there aren't so many choices, and often you rely on a waster track record and opt for a safest option, which, let's be honest, may come with a bit outdated interior, have a not so efficient engines, and all the other specs of the planes from past millennium. However, not all plane manufacturers stick to this old fashioned approach. Some have always strived to offer speed, comfort, and what's important, exceptional safety, in exchange for an extra dollar, of course. Nevertheless, if you can afford it, you will definitely enjoy it. You probably already got that hero of today's video is Diamond DA42 Twin Star, four seat, twin engine airplane developed and manufactured by Diamond Aircraft Industries. But how did it all start? Let's take a trip back to the roots of both the Diamond Industries and in particular, the Twin Star. And before we begin, I would like to ask you to leave this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for future videos as well. Your activity truly helps us to gain traction as our channel is still quite young, but we truly do our best to provide quality content about the wonders of aviation and value each one of you who supports us on our journey. Diamond Aircraft Industries, the company behind not only the DA-42, but also a smaller DA-20 series and huge DA-62, was founded back in 1981 in Austria. The company began with a clear vision. Their planes must be reliable, fast, and efficient. Well, this actually sounds like any other company's values, but Diamond actually pursued the high-end market, where the target audience wouldn't be afraid to spend extra dollar in exchange for high-tech, luxury, and innovation in all aspects. Over the past four decades, Diamond shown an unwavering commitment to these principles. This dedication has propelled them to the forefront of the high-end light aircraft industry. Diamond Aircraft has been a pioneer in using composite materials in aircraft construction, a move that brought about lighter and stronger planes. But what truly sets Diamond Aircraft apart is their commitment to safety. The company has a long-standing reputation for building some of the safest planes in the industry, and the DA-42 is no exception. They have consistently improved various safety systems over the years, achieving a lowest number of injuries and fatalities in the whole small general aviation plane sector. The word about their safety-focused planes spread beyond European aviation market, and the company expanded its operations across the Atlantic. Today, Diamond Aircraft has a significant presence in North America, with a manufacturing facility in London, not the one in UK, but in Ontario, Canada. This strategic move has allowed the company to serve its global customer base more effectively and underscored its growth and success over the years. The development journey of the DA-42 is as fascinating as the aircraft itself. It was introduced to the aviation world in 2004, marking a significant milestone in Diamond Aircraft's history. As the company's first twin-engine aircraft, the stakes were high. And even though Diamond successfully met the initial expectations of both pilots and passengers, it soon faced a challenge. One of the most significant hurdles was the engine. Initially, Diamond Aircraft opted for Thielert engines. However, just four years later, Thielert's bankruptcy in 2008 posed a significant challenge to Diamond, which had to seek an alternative. While in July 2008, Diamond announced that production of the Twin Star has been suspended, already in March 2009, they achieved ESA certification for the Austro engine, AE300, which enabled the DA-42 to resume production. Equipped with the Austro engine, these aircraft were designated and marketed as the DA-42 NG. NG, standing for Next Gen, came with enhancements such as increased maximum takeoff weight, better fuel efficiency, and improved avionic systems. Also, because of the improved performance, new upgrade introduced the some comfort options, like an air conditioning system, an enlarged canopy, and an anti-icing system, making it an excellent choice for a wider range of climates and conditions. Let's take a closer look to what this bird holds under its wings. At the heart of the DA-42's extraordinary performance are the Austro Engine AE300 engines. Manufactured by Austro Engine, a subsidiary of Diamond Aircraft Industries, the AE300 is a turbocharged, common rail injected, 2 liter diesel engine. It boasts a power output of 168 horsepower per engine, providing the plane with robust performance capabilities. The engine has a high compression ratio and uses Jet A1 fuel, 
which contributes to great fuel efficiency and lower operational costs. There are several benefits to using diesel engines in aircraft, particularly those that can run on Jet A1 fuel. For one, Jet A1 fuel is widely available and often less expensive than Avgas, which can significantly reduce operating costs. Furthermore, diesel engines like the AE300 are typically more fuel efficient than their Avgas counterparts, leading to longer range and endurance. When comparing the Twin Star to similar twin engine aircraft like the Technam P2006T, by the way, we have a video about it too, there are a couple advantages DA42 holds on its wings, literally. The P2006T uses Rotax 912S3 engines, which run on Avgas. While these engines are lighter and may offer some advantages in terms of initial purchase price, they can't match the fuel efficiency, lower operating costs, and high altitude performance offered by the Diamond's AE engines. However, it's worth noting that there are some potential downsides to diesel engines. They are generally heavier than Avgas engines of comparable power, which can reduce the useful load of the aircraft. So how does Diamond compensate for the extra weight? A key factor contributing to the DA-42's performance and safety is its fuselage construction. The aircraft is almost entirely built using composite technology, which combines materials like carbon fiber and glass fiber in a matrix to provide superior strength and lightweight. This construction method was thoroughly tested by Diamond and resulted in an airframe that is not only durable, but also flexible and light, contributing to the DA-42's efficiency and performance. Despite that, Twinstar doesn't hold a record of being the lightest twin, its empty weight is almost double the weight of P2006T. But let's be honest, these two planes were built with different priorities. The dimensions of the DA-42 further contribute to its utility. With a length of 28 feet, a height of 8, and a wingspan of 44, the aircraft is compact, yet spacious enough to accommodate passengers and cargo comfortably. It's worth mentioning that this plane has one of the largest wingspans in its class. For example, P2006T has 37 feet wings, and even bigger Beechcraft Baron has 38. Another distinct feature of DA-42 is a unique T-tail configuration. This design places the aircraft's horizontal stabilizer on top of the vertical stabilizer, forming a T-shape when viewed from the front or rear. The T-tail design has several advantages and considerations in aircraft design, such as more consistent and reliable control inputs, especially during takeoff and landing. Inside of the wings of DA-42, you'll find impressive fuel tanks, which allow for a range of up to 1,200 nautical miles, such a considerable range makes this plane perfect for long-distance trips. Of course, talking about fuselage, we cannot overlook the safety cell, as it is centerpiece of the aircraft's safety and aircraft itself. The concept of a safety cell comes from automotive design, where it's often used in the context of race cars and high-performance vehicles. The aim is to create a robust and resilient compartment that protects the crew in the event of a crash, much like a roll cage in a race car. In the design of the DA-42, areas of the aircraft outside the safety cell are considered non-critical structures. These parts are engineered to deform or crumple in a controlled way during a crash. This crumpling action absorbs a significant portion of the crash energy, reducing the energy that reaches the pilot and passengers inside the safety cell. By deliberately allowing non-critical structures to fail in a controlled manner, the crash energy is dissipated helping to protect the integrity of the safety cell, and thus, the safety of the passengers and crew inside it. The interior of the DA-42 is well-planned and built for both comfort and usefulness. The cabin, which can fit four people, is cozy and functional. The seats are arranged in a way that allows plenty of space for everyone's head and legs, making the flight more comfortable. The design of the DA-42's interior also helps pilots see clearly and reach controls easily. The way the seats are positioned and the large cockpit window lets pilots see well, which is important for knowing what's happening during the flight. Every little detail inside the DA-42, from the quality of the materials used to the design of the seats and controls, helps make flying an amazing experience. It's comfortable, safe, and enjoyable, a little sporty perhaps, but this plays well with the exterior and overall aesthetics of the plane itself. 
A significant part of D-42 advanced capabilities can be attributed to its state-of-the-art avionics suite, the Garmin G-1000 NXI. This Garmin incorporates dual 10-inch LCD displays, PFD and MFD. Primary flight display shows essential flight information such as airspeed, altitude, and heading, while the multifunction display provides detailed navigation maps, engine parameters, and other secondary flight information. The Garmin GFC 700, a fully integrated digital autopilot, is also part of the NXY suite. This autopilot provides features such as flight director, altitude preselect, and vertical speed control, further reducing pilot workload. The DA42 also incorporates synthetic vision technology on the PFD, providing a 3D depiction of terrain, obstacles, and traffic, which significantly enhances situational awareness, particularly during poor visibility conditions. Price for such safety and innovation technologies can be pretty high, but you can find used planes for around $600,000. However, these models tend to be pre-2009, so they won't feature the AE300, but rather a Lycoming IO360 on their wings, which is also a decent engine. In conclusion, the DA42 is a remarkable aircraft, renowned for its efficiency, advanced avionics, and twin-engine reliability. However, like any aircraft, it has specific advantages and disadvantages that potential operators should consider. Despite higher initial costs and the need for multi-engine certification, the DA42 NG's safety features, fuel efficiency, and performance make it a strong contender in the light twin-engine aircraft market. Thanks so much for watching our video. Which airplane you would like to see next on our channel? Let me know in the comments and see you next time.